that it's um, 20 minutes past 8, I guess. And I'm supposed to be studying for like an hour, but I didn't because I woke up way later than I expected. And I'm dying inside because I'm such a late owl and it's like too early for me. I guess I will not make um, uh, writing exercises, like I wanted to practice uh, writing text on a specific topic because I will not have time, I have less than an hour for studying in general. So I want to practice like the basic basic verbs like être, avoir, faire, as that kind of stuff and making questions because it like really would be just a uh, repetition but I think I need to go through it and like practice just writing stuff <sighs> yeah so an update I've spent almost half an hour I definitely haven't finished uh, everything I wanted I only wrote four verbs with examples and it took too many times just because I don't like the structure of this text, but I was uh, just looking back and forth for this very specific info I wanted, and I didn't have uh, bookmarks for everything, so it took a while. I don't think I have time to practice uh, questions because, at least in this textbook, it's read like within, I think, at least two different uh, lessons um, so and I have when I was uh, looking through my notebook I found that I have a little bit of my own notes so I definitely need to go through them uh, because I, I have something already but yeah I guess we will have to add like extra study day for the stuff when I didn't manage to, you know, do everything in the time I planned to. Because I really want to finish this damn textbook before the new year. Uh, so here it was, it was the 3rd of December. Uh, yeah, Tuesday, the first day of this study marathon, aka I'm just trying to make some kind of study routine. Um, yeah, that's, that's it for now. And just for the record, here are the notes. Like, I've literally just wrote the verbs and some uh, examples, uh, like literally from the textbook, and there's quite a lot of other stuff which I want to repeat in like later study sessions. And um, yeah, the level of I studied French only on occasion is that I was looking through my notebook and I thought, actually, I have most of the suburbs already here in like grammar section of just Yeah, you know. And I like wrote exactly the same stuff but like with examples here. Oh my god. So. Hi, it's December 5th, uh, Thursday, day 2 of challenge, because yesterday when I wanted to kind of finish everything that I haven't finished in the first day, I couldn't wake up at all, and I was asleep until 9 a.m. Like, I didn't hurt all of my alarms, it was a disaster, <laughs> you know. So, obviously I haven't studied French in the morning and in the evening. I was late at work in for like extra two hours and then just had dinner, it was, that was it. So I haven't even finished uh, other stuff I planned. And this morning I also couldn't wake up as early as I wanted. I don't know, I guess we had to reschedule this thing because I just couldn't. I guess I need to like just go uh, to work one hour later because I, I can, that's not an issue, but in the mornings I, I just I can't. I can't wake up this early. And so now it's 9 a.m. and I haven't even started. But I supposed to, according to my 
schedule which I've constructed for myself. I'm supposed to watch a video studying uh, grammar for an hour and practice writing for half an hour, which I didn't did finish so um, well. I guess right now we are going to study for an extra hour and then going uh, to the office our like that's the plan and I have a cup of tea I have my notes we'll start with uh, kind of uh, with repetition because I have some notes related to the topic I want to review um let's go so um uh, I've looked through all the places in the um, textbook which I wanted to annotate kind of and so what I see uh, in the one lesson there is only questions with simple inversions so for example Etu en frère? Avez-vous des romans policiers? That stuff so I want to write um, it and try to construct different types of uh, questions because um, I have some notes uh, about that so yeah also um, there are like in different lessons some questions like Qui êtes vous? Qui? It's like uh, different types of questions I absolutely don't remember how you call them in English Great video um, but it's like Quel âge avez-vous? Qui est votre père? Okay, so I will try maybe construct my own some examples because the lessons is this is so giant there's so much bits of pieces of information like technically I'm like at this point but I'm reviewing like five lessons back again because I don't I don't think that stuff like is well established in my head and that's sad but yeah let's let's finally work on the thing. Another issue with this damn textbook. It doesn't have a lot of explanation of anything pretty much. Quick intro into French phonetics. It's on the page 128, which is like less than 17 or something. You went through like pretty much half of the book and then you get the intro into French phonetics, which is like, <laughs> I think, just hilariously funny. But the issue with uh, the very specific moment I want to look into is just because an example of translation and let's give the translation exercise for like uh, three pages. Yeah, it's like plus vocabulary, but three pages of uh, exercises and no explanation on how to trans make this sentence. Like you no rules or anything, like you kind of need to figure it out by yourself. I like that it's just like this new method of education and no teacher involved. You will learn how to read and write in French and what's more important, you will um, figure out the laws of constructing sentences in the French language. I guess it's like uh, the new method of studies like this, so bunch of examples that you and you need to figure out the, what's the, what the hell is happening. On the other hand, it motivates you to Google and look into, in general, in other resources because you don't understand anything. Basically, I spent 45 minutes on this. Like, only on this. Plus, a lot of Googling, basically, and I added uh, one note to my original uh, notes about questions, uh, specifically about this part that I skip with uh, nothing like th with words like this will look that way because I didn't remember that. And of course, like in French, everything is so much together, uh, but like it's good to have a specific example, I guess. Uh, and yeah, as you can see. I have questions like this, which is key, uh, but I have zero examples of what they try to show me, basically. Yeah, that's, that's everything about what I have about 
questions, and I was hella confused. However, the problem is that I haven't studied everything I wanted. Like today, I'm supposed to took like a new topic, but I haven't finished questions again. I haven't uh, looked through questions with like come up to the pill, Kalasha two, and stuff like that. So it's still kind of on hold, and I don't know because. On uh, Sunday, I supposed to took like another topic, so oh, I'm late already in two. Uh, so what I'm gonna try to do again, schedule a study session tomorrow morning. Just study in the morning, hopefully finish these damn things with questions, because it drives me mad already. Um, and I hopefully will try to do Duolingo. This Friday studied like literally a little bit, like 15 minutes. <sighs> I'm not a morning person. That became a problem. I have seen it. I have no chance to finish this damn book until the end of the year. Like zero, because I'm still working on questions and I'm still having done them. Oh well, so today like I literally yeah, studied not a lot, but I've looked through the uh some examples in the textbook, wrote them down and uh, then marked the kind of categories, what type of question it is, uh, according to my notes they have, and uh, like to better understand the stuff because I not really have problems with questions for some reason. I still have some stuff to do from a textbook, and also I want to do the next exercise because it wasn't in the textbook, but I remember. Uh, such exercises from the time when I've studied English at school. So the teacher was giving us a real large sentence like this is like Jennifer bought a large pink sweater on a mall last evening, for example. You need to construct a bunch of sent uh, sentences, like a bunch of questions uh, related to this uh, first sentence. So like, what uh, Jennifer bought, like where she bought a pink sweater, when she bought a pink sweater, who bought the pink sweater, stuff like that. And so I think it would be really cool exercise for me because me and questions for some reason in French like doesn't work. Like everything is more complicated than the simple inversion. My brain is just like we need to do something with that because like it's quite basic thing in my opinion um, so hopefully I will update you later I don't know am I going to block the process or not because uh, currently like we work in day mornings at like the only time when I can vlog all by myself and I'm not comfortable <laughs> looking when other people are around so uh, it's really um, likely that you will be updated only on Monday or uh, maybe Tuesday, depending on <laughs> how productive I'm going to be. Uh, because also, like, I will try to study a little bit this evening, which is not like I'm not sure about it. If I will do this, but I will try. But I will say, when you want to edit the video to post on uh, Saturday, because I'm super behind everything, I haven't filmed like. Uh, wrap up and stuff. I have a bunch of other briefing stuff, so like I guess I need to edit something because like it looks like I'm not uh don't have time to film because <laughs> I wanna practice the fridge. Just for the record this and this it's everything that I finished today. Not a lot. And um as I said there are some other stuff that I wanna make notes on and like literally the scene like has a bunch of examples but no structure and it drives me mad. <sighs> Just wanted to update you all so today it's Tuesday and uh well I've started on Sunday and they finished uh topic of the questions and I kinda finished with prepositions. Um, the thing is that I was like one topic late, I believe, from my plan to finish it uh, until the end of December. Um, 
and I thought they would study on Monday, but it was um, I wake up so late, so I decided not to. And today again, I wake up too late, and I I kind of have some time to do to study, but I don't have any mental capacity to do so, which means that there will be two topics late for this. Um, well, cool. Oh, yeah. So that's that's the update, <laughs> kind of. My hair probably looks terrible, which like pretty much reflect my <laughs> general state today. Um. So I hope I will catch up with this uh this week, but um, I'm planning to go um to my parents on the weekend, which means that I have planned only uh, Thursday for studying and I don't have planned Sunday study session unless I will go here like a little bit earlier because I don't think I will be studying uh, at home so yes, I don't know when I will catch up with, uh, with the studies unless I will study t tomorrow which I don't think will happen but we'll see and mm. yeah. So today is December nineteen, and I didn't made a lot of studying progress. Let's say so. Basically what happened, I think I've said last week that I wasn't feeling great and I was a little bit sick. Um, overall there was a lot of stuff last week, I was like, really overworked. I had like graduation party on the sewing courses that I took uh, last autumn and I was on one really cool bookish event on Saturday and then after Right after the event, I went to the uh, railway station to go to my parents' home and went back on Sunday. So, surprisingly, on Sunday I was feeling better and I even studied uh, quite a bit uh, while I was on the train. So, I was studying a second pose. And also, like, I completely didn't knew it before, but it was, like, bits and pieces here and there, so I decided, like, I need to go through it and study it better. Let's just say it like that. I st my voice is not good, so, yeah, whatever. Um, but then, suddenly, on Monday, I had a terrible cold, like, a really terrible, like... I can't even explain, like, it was a mess. And I was trying to get better without going on a sick leave. And I was going uh, to work on Monday and Tuesday. But uh, on Tuesday evening I saw, like, I'm not getting better. Maybe I'm getting worse. So it probably would be... Uh, the best decision to make and just to go on vacation. The problem is that we have a very important release at the end of this week and when you have a lot of stuff to do and uh, my body just decided, hell no, like we are going on vacation right now. Um, but yeah, so since Wednesday I'm at home and yesterday I was basically sleeping almost the whole day. That's the state of uh, my health right now. Right now it's almost almost 1 p.m. I almost do nothing, but at least I feel it better. Um, I have quite a lot of other stuff to do besides like trying to get better in terms of the health, but some other stuff to do. But I think at least I could try to do something. Not promising anything, but. I guess that's an update because, yeah, you know, I almost did nothing this week. Actually, this week I, I really did nothing in terms of friendship. Yeah, 
that's 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 the situation. I think it's clear that we are not finishing this damn book before the end of the year. Like there's no chance. So yeah, I looked into my notes and well, I have let's say um, eight and a half unfinished things uh, because I've started per second per se. And well, it's like two weeks before the end of the year. The problem is that I'm gonna go to my parents' home, I think on the 28th, and so at first I thought that I will not uh, be studying at the time because I said, like, it's unlikely that I will do so. So I didn't even plan, but because of my like myself being sick and myself being unable to wake up in the morning and all the stuff I've missed a lot of my study spots that I've planned for myself and oh, I don't know because if I will go with my schedule that I had I have like one two three four spots to study and like two of them will be on a weekday when I am probably be at work already. So it's unlikely that I will do like two topics in one sitting. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know because like I already have plans for like some weekends and for the actual the, the end of the end of the year, <laughs> like to just read books and rest finally. I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what what happened with that.